I'm Erin Lawler Patterson, the Goodness Chick. I'm an international speaker, podcaster, counselor, author, and proud part of the Mental Health News Radio Network. Join me on the journey of empowering you to live life with an overflowing cup rather than an empty one. We look at mental health, self care, addiction, relationship, and wellness, where we use our challenges to fuel us rather than consume us. All right, today coming to you uh, from Vero Beach, Florida, I have a friend of mine joining me today, Abby Chain. So excited to have her here today, and I feel like uh, that the timing is perfect. Abby, I want to say thank you for joining me. You are so welcome. I'm so excited to be here. Let's rock this. Awesome. We're rocking it, baby. We're rocking it. And so um, as we're kind of in, I, I, I feel like we're you know, kind of in, embarking towards the end of the calendar year. And with that, 2020 has been kind of crazy train, uh, to say the least. Um, and with that, having what we're calling this today is staying golden through the gunk uh, and just talking about the aspects of mindset, um, our outlook and how contagious it can be for the people around us in beautiful ways along with our mental wellness. And before we hop into today's episode, just want to give you a reminder, if you dig the Goodness Chick podcast, you're tuning in every week, it's getting some vibes going and the goodness flowing. I'd love you to consider hopping on goodnesschick.com where you can hit that big old donate button. We take PayPal and Venmo. And whether it's a one-time or ongoing donation, know from the bottom of my heart, it is appreciated. So Abby, we are jumping in today. Uh, to our episode. And I know we're actually, we're shooting in the same town, uh, but on two different computers and two different locations. But i um, grateful for having you on today because as I think about, you know, we're now officially November, which is insane. But the aspect of how sometimes we can feel like, and I feel like this was applied to a lot of people right now, maybe we're in a rut, we're feeling funky, we're feeling overextended, we're feeling worn out. Um, and maybe even disheartened. And I know like we, we connected really not that long ago. You really made an impression on me when, um, you kind of, you stood up and you, you talked a little bit about one of your passions and it's this, one of my dreams is to be able to go around and, and inspire people and get them excited doing yoga uh, that you're now doing virtually and kind of fill me in a little bit. You're a real estate agent. Mm -hmm. And now that the dot kind of has been connected to like, what your uh, another passion being people's wellness, and so like what kind of inspired right. that? <clears throat> okay, well, first of all, thank you again so much, Erin, for having me on your podcast. It's an honor to be here and to share my enthusiasm, what keeps me energized, and most of all, what keeps me positive. Um, so, I started teaching fitness almost twenty four years ago, but I've always worked out, always. And I always used to say to myself, oh, my God, this is my passion. I literally, literally wake up every morning so excited to work out. Let's go back the night before. If I know I'm going to be running in the morning, I am, it just excites me. And I feel very grateful that I have a passion because there are many people in this world that have no clue what the word yeah. passion even means. So I really feel very, very special that I have that. Um, so basically, I started teaching about 24 years ago, but I always did it like just part time and I never really looked at it as a business. And I never really knew that I could dream and have something really come to fruition. So I've done many, many things, but I always had fitness as my background and I always taught and I always worked out. So about a couple of months ago, when COVID hit, I was teaching at the community center here in Vero Beach and, and COVID hit and they shut me right down. And I had about 60 um, seniors wow. coming to my class. Wow. Now, when I say seniors, these are women and men who have literally worked out their whole life. So I'm considered a senior since I'm 62 young, yeah. but yet I've worked out my whole life. You would never think that no, I was a senior. You're a rock star, man. Okay, so yeah. don't, well, you know, people sometimes hear the word senior and they think that you're in a right. rock or rocking chair or you're walking with a walker. So I just want to mm -hmm. clear that up. So anyway, so... Um, I got on and I said to my husband, you know, and at this time I'm doing real estate for three years and I'll be honest with you, it's not my passion, but I know that it was something that I decided to join my husband as a team because he was doing real estate for 41 years. And I said, okay, we could do it together. But fitness was always my passion. So when COVID came, I asked, I said, you know what, Alan, I'm going to do this Zoom thing. And I went, reached out to seven women in the class. Next thing you know, it jumped the next week to 25 people. I called up my sister in New York who's never seen me teach. And I said, 
let's do this now. And then I said, oh my God, Alan, I think Alan came to me and said, okay, you want to make this your business? I said, oh my God, yes, this is my dream come true. Timing is everything. So Alan named the business Golden Girls, which Abby's Golden Girls, which everybody Love. can relate to the Golden Girls. Yes. The, right? So, and the name alone um, has a very positive mm -hmm. title to it. Because if you watch the Golden Girls, it was all about fun and laughter. And living and just, life. Life is yeah. wonderful. And living yeah. life. I Correct. wish to be Arthur for so, Halloween is all I have to say. So rock out some golden girl goodness. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. And what happened was I just, and it just grew. Like, so from March until October, I was teaching for free okay. on Zoom. Every Monday, Monday I do chair yoga from 9 to 9.40. And on Thursday, and we do, we always do balance. And we do a little bit of light strain training. But on Thursday's class, it's more like a low impact class. I did two combinations, but I used the weight. So it's more focused on strength yeah. training and balance. And all of a sudden, we, we started working on my business in April, building the website, going through all the kinks and going through all this and all that. So yesterday was the first day of school. It was the first day that we launched it where the only way people could access my classes was through appstayfit.com. Right. It was no longer for free. And I only charge $15 a month for nine which classes, insanely, which comes out to yeah, less than two. Yeah. Right. I mean, and they get me yeah. live. They get me live every Monday and every Thursday. We have now 75 paid wow. members and they're all over the nation. And it's just going to continue And this could be global to too, Ab. I mean, really, like in terms of you. Oh, yeah. So we have right. listeners who are overseas and I know there's a time difference, but I am going to put in the link if you're interested in this because um, it's just awesome. First of all, it's an unbelievable deal. You have you as a professional um, instructing, but your charisma and your excitement for life, it is like so Golden Girl-ish. It's, it's, it's infective. Um, and I think I want to ask right. you this. Well, like you took that you. risk, right? It's It's... Well, okay, I, talk, I taught at the community center. You're doing great things. You had a lot of people. And then it's like, okay, COVID hit. And this is where kind of like, you know, having listeners tune in a little bit and thinking, I mean, COVID has in so many ways we could feel like kicked our butts and really changed so much. But it's all about our mindset in the pivot where you went from, okay, it was shut down. Now the, the, the positive of virtual, this is a positive. And you were able to connect your passion with that. And it's really interesting, too, because I've also learned how to record the classes. So on Monday, now they, they just received their first recording today through their email. And I made it really friendly because these are people that are not computer savvy. Right. Okay. Many times I had a, I go to their house that if they're okay. local and I actually show them how to set up my website or get or access my classes. So today they got and you wouldn't believe the outpour of thank yous I'm getting thank you for the recording. So if they miss a class, they and they have, they could do my class for a week. And then on Thursday, they get the recording and they could do that class for a week. So they literally could do two classes every day until the following That's week. Because awesome. then it automatically disappears until the right. next recording comes. And let's, let's talk about the comfort of your right. home. They don't have to drive in the rain. They could literally, literally roll out of bed. And if they don't want to see me or them will be seen. They could just cover their mm -hmm. camera. And it's the beauty of convenience. Do they miss the so socialization? Yes. But they said, but I mean, this is amazing. Yeah. And then we're, they're sharing it with their friends. And it's for all right. levels and for all sexes. You know, we have younger people. I have my nephew in the class who's 37. He goes, Abby, you're yeah. hard. This is great. But, but when you talk about yoga, what it does for, and I know yoga, you know, isn't always for everybody, but what it can do where I, I, I think about in this past year, how many people have been impacted, like their level of mental health with everything we have um, faced and be, been subjected to, it's a lot. How do you feel like when it comes to you and the people you work with, how being, being I'll, I'll say, you know, being physical, um, being challenged, because it's not just a physical challenge, it's also a mental challenge, kind of enhances your mm -hmm. quality of life as well as the aspect of community. So I'm going to kind of piggyback on that a little bit. Absolutely. Well, first of all, I just want to reemphasize that my, my class is called chair yoga. So, because I think when people hear yoga, they think about, and we do get down right. on the mat. You have to keep in mind, some of these people cannot get back up. So I, and this went back 
months ago, I said, let me try chair yoga. And we do stand up, but they have their chair right, right. next to them. And then the, the people who are, so with the yoga class, I always am emphasizing positive quotes. We talk about the importance of exercise during these challenging times. And for most of these people, this is like their smile on their face. They tell me, they said, Abby, every Monday and every Thursday, it's your enthusiasm and us working out and keeping mm -hmm. fit, eating properly. And I always tell them, I said, none of my people are gonna have those bars in the bathroom to get off the yeah. toilet because you're gonna have the strongest arms and legs in town. And they believe yeah. that, you know? So it's like, instead of getting an, a needle of an injection, they're getting the positive injection and they really believe it because they tell me all the time how great they feel. So yoga is a mindset. It's all about body, mind, and soul. And it's just about connection. And I think that is so with yourself. Yeah. And, and those things that are so easy to kind of let slip away um, and how important it is to keep connected. And, and you had said that I, I love this, like instead, you know, that it's instead of that injection, it's that dose of, of positivity and that mindset. And I know like, you know, on your Facebook page, it's, it's actually, it's awesome something I look forward to like daily, you kind of put different Thank quotes, you. different, you know, sayings, uh, and you are, um, layered I'll say in positivity and it's hard to be positive every single day of our lives, but where you said, you know, pursuing that, that injection of positivity allows us to have something to look forward to along with, you know, just the, our, our, our own mindset. Um, a lot of times people always ask me, um, how do you stay so happy? You know, like why? And I used to think that I was really born with a battery, a positive battery. And what really works for me is whenever um, I find myself sloping into the valley, I always think of something good in my life. And everybody has one thing good, um, and I understand there are many people that maybe they don't and they're in a different type of mental situation with a lot of challenges. But a, a word of advice that I could really give to people is um, get some hobbies. OK, even if it's a walk around the block and you could just listen to a, a podcast or listen to your favorite music. But you don't have to have a ton of hobbies. You could just have one hobby. You don't even need a ton of friends. But when you have a hobby and you just think that there are really good things going on, that it could really, really work. So I, I do, I want to talk a little bit about this. You had made a comment to me about like when we were, we were talking the other day, um, you know, you were out for a run and like one of your missions is like smiling and saying hello to people. And one of the things I thought was super interesting is the, the aspect of like, you know, sometimes they say hello and sometimes they don't. And, and the, the, the ability to kind of spread positivity or encourage other people in a way that kind of fills our cup, and I don't think that's selfish, without expecting anything in return. You know, what, what are your thoughts? That seems kind of like a philosophy of yours. Oh, it's the, you know, it's all about giving and not expecting anything back. So I run with two other girlfriends, and this is the difference. Okay, so if we run past somebody and I'll say, good morning, and they won't say good morning back, I kid you not, the other two immediately go into negative. Well, uh -uh, you know, and I'm not going to say the words they say. And I stop, I go, whoa, whoa, whoa. You say hello and don't expect anything back. How do you know they didn't have earbuds in? How do you know they just didn't lose their house? How do you know maybe they weren't even home the night before and that's why they're walking? I said, yeah. so don't judge. Yep. Always say hello because you know what? Your hello could have just changed their day just like that. And we run... So it's kind of dark in the morning. We run at 530 in the morning. And many times we don't know what's going on in their head. We don't even see them. But I see a body. I see a shadow. And it happened this morning. There were some people I said hello to. Most of them said hello back. So maybe that was a good thing. Yeah. yeah. But I don't, and, and I do think, yeah. I think we should be doing it, you know, all year round. Um, and some days it's hard to, you know, where we're, we're just maybe not in a good place ourselves. But I do think it connects with us having kind of that full cup us feeling like we can make a difference in the world and, and doing something that's not just us or I focused, we'll say. Um, you know, there's so many people who are feeling disconnected right now, mm -hmm. overwhelmed, disheartened, or whatever else, like you said, lost their home, you know, their job's not going well, things at home are funky, and, 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 and the list goes on. And when we get in that mindset of like, really, like no strings attached, 
uh, giving or no strings attached hellos, it, it can change our mindset. It, it's, you know, another thing that's really nice to do when you, when you wake up and you're not having a good day, text somebody and text them just the words, hi, I'm thinking of you. Have a great day. Mm. Oh my God. That just, that's what I do a lot too. When I'm just having a, eh, a blah day, I'll just text a few people yeah. and they don't even have to text me back. But the fact that I just reached out to them, just again, yeah. it's it's giving, and it, that's what works for me. And it's 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 doesn't take a second to do that, or even right. or even a and, note card, yeah. even write a note card to somebody. You know, get on Facebook and maybe somebody lost their cat, and send them a note. Hey, I'm so sorry to hear about your cat. Or, hey, I saw your child had a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. There's so many yeah, things that, that, that aspect can... of just some human connection of just like encouraging other people. And I think it makes the world seem less crazy and chaotic. And um, I, I think we, we just need that right now. Like that ability to say like, you know, I'm here taking care of myself, but also that ability to reach out with the other hand um, and, and kind of like encourage somebody else because it goes, it goes hand in hand with, you know, with our, our, our mindset and where we are right now. Right. And you know what? We're never going to reach everybody, but no, again, I, again, during these trying times, listen, it's so easy for us all to become victims, you know, with the politics and the COVID and, but you know what, mm -hmm. listen, you know, we're never going to be able to fix everything. Okay. And no. we never know, we don't know all the true parts to what's going on with politics, mm -hmm. with COVID and we're all, everyone's all judging. Okay. And mm -hmm. they're judging on information that they really don't even know what they're judging about. Yeah. So I think the attitude is, you know what? We all have opinions. Okay. We all have preferences. Don't share them. Keep them to yourself. If somebody asks who you're voting for and just say, you know what? I'm voting. Leave it at that. But do you remember the days that like nobody knew who anybody was voting for, right? It oh was in pleasure. There was no Facebook, but it was just like you went. You did, you know, you, as an American, you went and you voted, right? A right. And, and you did your civic duty and then that was it, right? And you found out who won. And I, I do feel like we've gotten to a point and I, I believe it connects with where we were even before the election, the, you know, everything with COVID and then it's like being un unhappy or unsettled and then just kind of, I'm going to say emotionally kind of vomiting on people where it's like, you know, if you don't vote for pers this person, you're this or, and, and it's pitted us against each other and it's like, it's yucky. And that's just where I said, like the gunk through the gunk. And, and there's a quote I actually posted today from Maya Angelou that I feel like is so appropriate for today. It says, as you grow older, you will discover that you have two hands, one for helping yourself and the other for helping others. Oh, I love and that. I believe that is massively appropriate for right now. Like, you know, whoever wins this, the, the election, whether we know tomorrow or in like a month and a half, right, we're still Americans. And it's the ability to just, I feel like through all things, be kind. Through all things, I believe, right, that, and, and, you know, you could tell me anything. As a Christian, I believe, I pray every day, like, give me the, God, the eyes of Jesus Christ. Like, Jesus didn't jam in the mansions and Jesus didn't jam in his Rolls Royce. You know, down at, he was like hanging with regular people and the people that were, you know, hurting and sad. And it's like, I pass the homeless dude, you know, right up the corner for me and I hand him a banana and I'll probably not never see him again. Right. But it was just one simple act of kindness that like the dude hasn't had a banana maybe in a month. And it's not my business to judge like why he's there and he's homeless. What has he really been through? And we pulled back those layers and that's a whole nother episode, but just the power of kindness and how through challenging times, it can do beautiful things. You know, I, I, um, I use a lot of calendars and it goes back to when we were little kids and you got a sticker. If you did something good and remember it was, you probably have it cause you have a son and you hang it on the refrigerator. Yeah. And if they were good in school, they got a sticker. So it's, it's always rewarding positive behavior. Well, I, right. I use calendars and I do um, a morning ritual, but every time I did this for one month, I wrote down a friend's and I went through my phone I can't remember what month. And every day I wrote someone else's name in the box on my calendar. I just, some people I didn't even remember because they were in my phone. And every day I would either text them. The next day I would call. I would do an act of kindness to whosever name was in that box. And after I did it, I would check it off. And my goal was to have that 
entire calendar with check marks indicating I reached, I did an act of kindness for whether it was 30 days that month or 31. And can I tell you, you want to talk about feeling awesome. fabulous and, yeah. and guess what? I got more thrill out of putting that check in the box that yeah. I actually did it because so many times that's all about being positive. We say we're going to do stuff and we don't do it. So don't put yeah. 10 things a day on your list, knowing that you might not accomplish that. Put one thing. Yeah. And if you could accomplish that, do you know how great that feels? And that also leads into happiness. Yeah. And all I ask is, you know, with the election, what really breaks my heart, two things, hatred that I see coming mm -hmm. out of people's blood and the word respect. And we have yeah. lost that so mm -hmm. much. You know, think about when we were growing up, we would never, ever curse at our parents. We yeah. would never curse at our teachers. We would stand up and say the Pledge of Allegiance every yeah. single day. And it just blows my mind how, you know, the good thing about the lockdown was for COVID, we actually went back to basics and people didn't even yeah. realize they went back to basics. And my yeah. son even said, he goes, don't you feel like they've kind of re re like forgotten that a little bit already? Oh like, gosh. I feel like I was like, what? We had this like blip of like, hello, hello, and personal connection and this like, and then I'm like, it's gone. Like, and, and yeah, like all this like negativity. And I'm like, where is this, this just hostility and, and just yuckiness coming from where, and that respect, I'll tell, I'll tell you something on, on my, we decided to homeschool my son with everything going on really kind of last minute. And one of the things we do every single morning is right in front of our coffee bureau, we do the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh -huh. And my son, I will fill in him the importance of you are American. I don't care who is the president of the United States. You will be respectful. You will. It's about kindness and that that freedom that we have. It is not free. And how beautiful it is when we learn to respect and be kind to one another. I, I, I just I believe that passionately. I just said to what you know, I do personal training as well. And I just said to my client today, whatever happened to the word respect? Yeah. What I mean, wouldn't it be great if people could just show love to each other and how beautiful this country can really be? I feel like people are just sabotaging it and they're getting so inside yeah. their own head for whatever reason. Yes. Yes. It's, and I also think this, look, things are kind of crazy train right now, but I also say like, listen, if you look, you read, or you look at things going on in other countries, we are so fortunate and blessed to be Americans. Absolutely. Right here. People say like, whether it was four years ago or, or now or whatever, I'm going to leave America. I'm like, do you have any concept? Like, do you have any concept of how fortunate we are to live in this country? We can talk about who we want to vote for. We can, you know, we can, I mean, like we have so many freedoms and, and so many men and women have given their lives for us and are serving now. And, and it's like, holy moly, it's, um, it's something that's super duper taken for granted. And I also think people forgot how to smile. Now, granted, we, yes. we are wearing masks, but when you smile, your eyes light up. And people can tell yeah. you're smiling at them. I was reading this whole article about masks and, oh, it's so sad. We can't see people smile. Um, yes, you can. Because I know that when I'm in the grocery store and I smile at someone, they smile back. Now, if they didn't know that I was yeah. smiling, why would they smile back at me? And that's another thing. Look in the mirror and practice smiling. Do you know when people smile, that's an invitation into you in a nonverbal way? It's a beautiful thing to smile. And that's another way of showing happiness to somebody else. You know, how many, yeah. like, how many times were you upset and someone smiled at you and then all of a sudden you're not upset anymore? You know, mm -hmm. these are things that are A, are free. Yeah. B, do not take a lot of time out of your day. And one other thing you might want to know about me is I don't do well with excuses because there is no excuse. You yeah. know, people have to realize the beauty of you is you're in control of everything you do. Isn't that the coolest? Mm -hmm. When you really sink into that, you don't want to talk. You don't have to talk, but just be nice. Mm -hmm. But you're in control just of everything. Be nice. Just be nice. Be positive. Say <laughs> nice be things to people. Yeah. And if you don't have something nice to say, hello, mom, then don't say it at mm -hmm. all. 
Why? I think we've forgotten a little bit of that old saying. Yeah, yeah. right. I was like, that is the, the kind of golden rule, one of the golden rules in life. Just don't say anything. Right. And, and, and I believe we've kind of also lost the art of just agreeing to disagree. Uh, and with that kind of like the, the claws can come out. And, and so I've actually tried to like back away a little bit from social media and, and kind of take some time for self-care. But I love where you're talking about like practicing smiling because that's not natural to everybody mm-hmm. and making it a habit and finding ways to spread kindness because I believe that mends our hearts when we have been kind of subjected to a lot of negativity and we've been in a funky place. Right. So, I, and I'm going to actually wrap, I'm going to wrap things up a little bit Great. here, but I want to say to you, Abby, thank you so, 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 so much for being here today. Oh. And if anybody, whether you are in Indonesia, you're in Singapore, you are in um, Montenegro, Cyprus, the UK, and you're like, I got to get my yoga on, right? Regardless of, of whatever age you are and you're listening to this, I really encourage you to check out Abby. Where are they going, baby, to go check it out? You're going to all lowercase letters, A B. S-T-A-Y-F-I-T dot com. Abstayfit dot com. Check out my website. Listen, even if you're in another continent, call me. I may not answer because I'm sleeping, but I promise you I will get back to you. And that's my word. So my goal. And it's global goodness, man. Right. And I'm asking you all to come and share my dream with me. Let's help build a fitness community worldwide, nationwide. Because you know what? When you work out, you feel amazing afterwards. You may not want it in the beginning, but when it's over, what do you say to yourself? I'm so glad I did that. So Erin, thank you so much for this opportunity. And to all of your listeners, you have an amazing leader here. She's fabulous. I love her. I met her the first night and said, ah. Where was where has this woman been in my we're life? Connected forever, baby. We're yeah. connected. We're we're yeah. very vibing. Right. Uh, and Ab, thank you for joining me today. And to everybody that's listening, the power of your smile, the power of our outlook, and on all things, choosing kindness. Wishing you an abundance today, my friends, of peace, love, and extreme goodness. If you enjoyed today's episode, there's a lot more encouragement and.